questions? Just for either of you, what were your initial reactions on um, your pairing and then just the rest of the market? Um, I think we're really excited about it. I think we've worked really, really hard this season, and I think we got a good lineup, and we're ready for it, and we prepared well. So, Yeah, I think all of us were just really excited to get started, and like Ali said, we have lots of good matchups coming up, and so we're really excited about the draw that we got, but like she said, we've worked really hard this entire season and since January as a team to be in the position that we're in, so we're really, really excited to get started. Ellie, was it nice not to have to wait? I mean, Nebraska was the first school listed out, then you had the first pairings announced. Was it nice not having to wait through all the tension and drama? Yeah, absolutely. And I think in the past, previous years, like my freshman year, I think we were ranked 10th, and we were kind of waiting the whole time to see, and it was just kind of nice to just immediately know exactly where we stand and just have that moving forward. I know you're not supposed to look ahead, but is there another team in uh, your region that... Uh, your <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously I was a. Uh, I'm excited though. I love a lot of the girls on that team, so I'm excited that there's a chance that I might get to see some of them, and I think it'll be pretty cool to play them again. But I definitely wasn't expecting it. It was kind of a shock, but I'm excited. Got to win matches before that one though. Allie, in what ways does it feel different going into the NCAA tournament this year than last year? Um, I think we just kind of have a lot of confidence, obviously, being number one. And um, we obviously had a really good Big Ten season this year. And I think we've just prepared really well. And I think this group comes in every day in practice and just has that mindset of we're going for it. And I think, especially in postseason, that's the most important thing. And that's the most important mindset to have. And we're going to go in with a lot of confidence and play fearless. How do you guys feel like you responded yesterday after coming back from the loss? Yeah, I think, I mean, after every match, whether you win or you lose, you're going to learn something. And so I think we learned a lot about ourselves and about who we are as a team after the Wisconsin match. And we knew that we weren't playing at the level that we wanted to play at. We knew that we weren't necessarily fighting at the level that we wanted to fight at. And so I think we just kind of switched back into normal Nebraska volleyball mode and kind of just refocused on what has worked for us this entire season. And I think that was helped us a lot in that Minnesota match. And Obviously, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted that night, but I think from here on out, it'll just be more focusing on our side of the net and making sure that we're playing Nebraska volleyball and as the identity that this team has created. Aaron, what's it like to watch that show and have them talk for several minutes about Nebraska and especially Lexi and Delaney and show them? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we take a lot of pride in our defense, and those two kind of lead the backcourt defense. So I think, A, I think it's awesome that libero and DSs are getting that much attention because I know that position often doesn't get a lot of attention and so for them to both be recognized was really really cool especially as the number one seed I thought that was really special and so I'm really really happy for them that they got that recognition and they kind of got a little bit of the attention that they deserve because they are really really key and core players on our team and they carry very big roles for us so I was just very happy for them and very very proud of them. I imagine you're excited to see SMU pop up in the spring too. But I mean, there was a lot of other Nebraska opponents out there too. I mean, what does that say about what you've been what you've been through this year and the opponents you, you've, you've seen? So first start with SMU, your reaction to seeing that, then the opponents you've yeah, seen. yeah. I mean, it's so awesome. I think they won their conference and they've had a really great season. And it's really exciting to see my sister in the tournament as well. Um, I think as far as season goes, I think we've had a lot of great competitors and a lot of the teams we have already played are in the tournament. So I think it goes to show how strong our schedule has been this year and how that's prepared us really well moving into postseason. Ellie, in years past, I'm sure the uncertainty for you guys has always been, you know, who you're playing and then also where you're going, knowing that you guys are going to be here until the Final Four. How big is that for your guys' tournament run that's ahead? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, me and Lexi were talking about that. We've never done that before. And um, having the home court advantage is really amazing, especially here at Nebraska. We're going to have that support for sure. And um, it's a lot, it's much nicer to have the momentum from the crowd here and just have that support during our games, especially when there's such big matches, especially like the regional finals and everything. So um, yeah, definitely excited about that one. Final questions? Mayor, what has been some of your biggest takeaways from your first Big Ten season and how do you anticipate that helping you as you go forward? Yeah, I think the Big Ten tests you day in and day out. And so I know for me individually, but also us as a team, 
each and every match, no matter who we're playing in the Big Ten, we're learning something about ourselves. We're growing in some aspect. And I think that's really special to have in a conference season because, like Ali said, it is preparing us for postseason. And so I think every single night, I mean, Coach talks about it all the time. It doesn't matter who we're playing. It's going to be a battle. And so we've been tested a lot already this season. And so we've just taken little moments, little wins throughout the season from each of those Big Ten opponents. And ultimately, we're creating it into what we're going to carry in with us in the postseason and so for us it's just kind of been building that momentum building that confidence building our team chemistry and all the different ways that we were tested but I would say the Big Ten is definitely a big test and it's a challenge every single week no matter who you're playing and that would be my biggest takeaway for sure. For you individually how have you had been able to have such a profound impact on this team that's been uh, now a record that puts you in this position to be the number one seed in the tournament? Yeah, I mean, they all did a great job when I came in, and I know the freshmen would say the same thing. They opened all of us with welcome arms, wide open arms, and I think that was huge for all of us, just knowing that we could come in, we could be ourselves, we could build those relationships, and so I have to give a lot of credit to the girls that are the returners because they did welcome us with wide open arms, and they kind of made it a very safe space for us to all come in and be ourselves and do what we do day in and day out, so I have to give a ton of credit for them to them. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, obviously, if you change schools, there's going to be things that some coaching staffs do that some coaching staffs don't, and that's just kind of how the game goes. Each coaching staff has their different styles, and so there's definitely been some changes throughout my game, but I would say it's been more so just understanding that I can be me and I can play how I want to play and having a team that supports that and welcomes that and I think that has been huge for me, but also, like I said, there's going to be little technical changes here and there as well, and so I've obviously made those changes to my game as well. All right, thank you. I'll bring Coach Cook in. Thank you.